there's more to it than just saying, here, you pass a concealed carry course. A lot of the courses that I teach, and I think I can give some other credit to some other instructors too, where they're also teaching you life skills and understanding why you're carrying this gun and how you should portray yourself and act. That's the mindset part. You know, and, and I feel like a mindset is the most pertinent part of even carrying a firearm mm -hmm. or just being a person walking outdoors in general. Yeah, because there's you have projection and then you have perception. Because we're gonna keep coming back to this because it's one of, it is a thing. Mm -hmm. We being not white men, we have a mm -hmm. certain level of projection that we have to adhere to, and a certain level of perception that we have to adhere to. Mm -hmm. So the way we present ourselves is a survival skill for not just us, but those who we love and around us. So it's yeah. that whole thing of stereotypes do exist for a reason because predators are there. It's not our fault when people fall prey to some of the negative stereotypes, but it's also our responsibility not to perpetuate those stereotypes. So as a life skill, we have to project and present ourselves in such a manner that is a cut above what people perceive. And that takes skill and experience. But yeah, what I was saying is like present uh, presentation, perception, and what is the purpose behind that? And the fact is, when you carry weapons, mm -hmm. when you instruct how to use them, when you have done them both, you have to carry yourself in such a manner that people don't perceive. Yes, you do need a certain level. Of people need to perceive you as a threat because you are protective as personal protection skill sets for you and those around you. Mm -hmm. But for the common people, for the predators, you need you need to project. But for the common people, they need to feel safe around you, even though you're not a risk or a danger to them, but th th they have this need to feel that they need to be, f they need to feel safe around you because they may know stuff about you mm -hmm. like military combat, all the firearms, all the martial arts stuff, right. some of the hood rat stuff like my case. So it's just, it's a really tricky subject that a lot of people don't teach because it's not a lived in experience. And oh. that's one, of th and that's the thing that separates some certain level, certain types of instructors. Yeah, and I feel like life experiences do play a part on the type of instructor you're going to be. Because mm -hmm. again, I feel like life is the best teacher. Yep. And yep. with, the, and again, we go back to that struggle. Without a certain amount of struggle, what did you learn? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just understanding who you don't know who you are. Until you're under pressure. Mm -hmm. Are you the person who buckles or you're the person who stands up to adversity? Back mm -hmm. to that A word we used earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, adversity is always going to be around you. And yes, I feel like for us, it kind of follows us a little bit more. Yeah. For us, it a little bit more present in our everyday lives. Yeah. But it's not overwhelmingly present as people like us to believe. Yep, and it does it does not define us. That's the right. big one. So